<laughs> now, this ass that you're seeing right now is Andy Buses. I want all you girls to look close. And one nasty damn thing. Look at him. <laughs> look at him. I'm... It's so nasty. He's a nasty man. My feelings are hurt. He's a nasty, nasty man. You cut it out. He's a nasty. Because I don't bathe. <laughs> <laughs> Paid a hundred bucks for a new pair of gloves. Huh? Paid a hundred bucks for a new pair of gloves. Oh, well, they're outstanding. I mean, they're the best Are thing. They? Best thing my hands have ever yes. felt. Can you close it. I love how I come up here for the camera, also. <laughs> These fish definitely seem to be... Uh -huh. The fish definitely seem to be a little bit out right now. That's why. It's all the fish get caught out. Two fish like that seem to be... You're casting straight out? Yeah. Okay, I might have a slot. What do you think here, buddy? He's really stressed. I put him in there. All day long. He's an under. <laughs> That's a perfect. That should explain that. slot fish to you. Well, let me tell you what didn't work today. Because <laughs> Steve, Frank, and I really struggle. Now, Steve and I have caught fish before. There's a link to our video from last year. We just caught a whole bunch of fish on blade baits. But today on the St. Joe River, man, I think we've caught about a dozen fish. Now, that's not bad under normal stance, circumstances, I would say, when it's uh, 25 degrees and we take off this morning. It's a high of 39 degrees. And the water temperature is anywhere between 39 and 41 degrees. It's cold. But this tournament, I... It's about over. Uh, we're going to head into the weigh-in, but you know, we got our butts kicked. What we caught were two overs. Uh, rivers and streams in the state of Indiana, you're only allowed to keep two fish 15 inches or over. You have to release everything 12 to 15 inches in length. So what we caught were about, I think, 10 slot fish. Those were between 12 and 15 inches, and we caught two others that were under 12 inches. So that's all we got in live well. It's going to do us nothing but a tournament. Uh, our fish came on blade baits with the exception of Steve as you, as you saw or about to see caught two on a Ned rig this Ned rig has got a uh, bite me tackle uh, excuse me bite me tackle Ned head and a link for that in the description as well they use great Gamagata hooks and the uh, the actual Ned Rig is made by Yoder's Custom Rods. See my pink rod I've used throughout the season. It's, uh, they also make some soft plastics. So all our fish kind of came on the main river uh, channel. So, uh, shall I say on the brake line. Right, Steve? Right. Right. See, yeah, he's a, he's a man of many words. And we, we thought we were on to something early on because our most of our bites came early in the first two hours. Hey, Steve got one, I think, on a second cast. 
but the size just never showed up for us. So we're going to weigh in and hopefully get a chance to speak with uh, the winners and see what they did. So I am here with the winners on Six Band Stretch with Trevor Nunemaker, Chase Laughlin, and gentlemen, congratulations, you weighed 10.68 pounds, you had second biggest small mouth, is that right? Second biggest, and yeah. And it weighed 3.33. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, outstanding job. Uh, I won't get out of the way, and they're going to explain to you how they did it. Uh, day started off really good, hot bite in the morning. Uh, when the sun was out, they were biting really good, pretty much any piece of deep structure we could find, anything over 10 foot, if there's some wood down there, there's usually a small mouth on it. And right at first light, they were all biting good. Now, as the day went on, that bite slowed down a little bit, caught a lot of slot fish, but the big ones were kind of mixed in with them. So had to pick through those and we found the right four, so. This definitely came down to structure. I mean, if we got too close to a spot that was like typically weedy or there was dead grass, they, they weren't really there, but once you found like a harder transition, hard bottom with wood, you find the wood, get snagged a couple times, and yeah, you just gotta stick with it. Outstanding. Uh, long on me nosey, what'd you catch me? Caught him on a darter. Darter? Darter, darter yep. Darter bait. We played dude. around with Texas rig, um, just try to keep it out, keep it out of the wood and but now, keep it down like there. Sounds like you were fishing 10 to 15 foot kind of range. Yeah, mm -hmm. about that so range. How heavy of a weight did you have to use to get that darter down there in the current? Quarter ounce, sir. Quarter ounce. Mm -hmm. I was doing three sixteens. Quarter ounce, three sixteens. Were you really slow mo move that thing slowly oh, or yeah. snap it? Slow yeah. twitching it. Mm -hmm. Basically, twitch along pretty fast till you hit some cover, yeah. and when you hit that, just milk it. I uh, mean, just and they barely pick it up drag it through. Times that you'd have it, you you have them once, and they just kind of kind of pick it up get them again and then once you kind of knew like they, they'd have like four or five seconds before you wanted to give it to them because yeah. it was weird it's kind of biting it and moving around with oh, it yeah. kind of maybe the tail end of it before swallowing that thing mm -hmm. oh yeah light bite and the big one swam straight at us picked <laughs> it up swam straight at me and i didn't i didn't even know i was like all right this is weird something, something has it I, I had like three or four reels before i could pick it up and and then it took off and I was like, all right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, outstanding job. Well, uh, our last question I got, uh, how many fish did you go through today? Now, there are a lot of people who struggled today, myself included. I caught right. eight and he caught like 20. Yeah, probably 25, 30 fish for myself. And, wow. and we told out 30, 40 he fish. Smoked them. So. Did you catch how many, how many overs you ended up with? Actually only, we had probably three besides those four that we caught that were right on the line of over and those ones we called out but i mean they they were just barely squeaking it so we so. probably had five or six at 15 and a quarter yeah and just cookie cutters all exact same mm -hmm. well there you have it everything that we see in the video today you can find links to it in the description thanks for tuning in till next time hunter fish see you on the water yeah hey truly up on that rake line i would think that you know they're coming up uh,